All right, everybody, so welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the possibility of Eric Carlson being traded to the Tampa Bay Lightning. I have made a trade in the game, not actually in franchise mode. I went into the rosters and did it by myself because Ottawa is super stubborn with Carlson in franchise mode. They really don't want to give him up. So what I had to do is trade him through this mechanism here. You can see that he's on the team. If we go over and switch up on Ottawa here, you can see that the trade that I made was Carlson straight up to Tampa Bay for, I think it was actually Carlson and um, Burroughs because in the franchise mode, they wanted to give up Burroughs. So I feel like whatever, we'll throw him in here because um, he, they wanted to give him up for cap space or whatever it was for. And then on the returning side, it's Sergachev, Nemesnikov. I think I added in Cal Foot as well. He should be somewhere. Yeah, he's at the bottom there. Cal Foot. I was going to add in Taylor Radish as well, but I stopped it and I thought that the trade would go in maybe if there were a couple more picks like two first a first and a second or whatever i try to make it as realistic as possible i feel like sergachev and domestikov cow foot and two firsts for carlson and burrows is a pretty sweet deal for both teams so although they're not going to accept it in franchise mode of course here i feel like it's a good deal even though it's not possible because Nemestikov is gone but either way we're going to go into a classic gm mode here switch it up on tampa sim for one season and then uh, see how well they do see if carlson can make a big of an impact or if he can make any impact at all i haven't actually done this before so we'll have to see what's uh what it's like let me go the proper way and um i feel like i can either leave injuries on to make it more realistic but while i'm simming there's gonna be so much updating the lines and stuff so maybe i'll just turn off assistant or leave on assistant coach edit lines let me just turn all this off and that should be good for there. Uh, yeah, I want that on. So I hope that if I keep injuries on and I keep assistant coach edit lines on, then it will uh, just update them as we go rather than have me have to click like best lines continue or go to them or whatever. So we'll have to see. Alrighty, so let's go to edit lines currently at a champion team status, which is pretty uh, reasonable. And yeah, keep it on. And we'll go over and move Carlson over. Carlson Hedman as a top D pair is just ridiculous. Let's just go into the season, see how well Tampa can do. I'll uh, stop the sim like halfway through the year. And uh, well, actually I'm thinking I'm gonna sim preseason first, and then I'm gonna go halfway through the year. What am I doing? A 2-1 win, a loss to Boston, come on. A win again, can we go 4-0-1? Or 6-0-1, uh, I mean not 4-0-1. Come on, we got one more game against Florida. It always does this before. And Florida's 2-4-0. You'd think we'd get a win. It didn't actually say. So, did we? We lost to Florida. That is embarrassing. Anyways, let's go to April. I'm going to sim. Wait, no, hold up. Let me. Well, I'm just going to sim to April. And then when it's at like 40 or so games, I'll, uh, I'll, inter I'll stop it. All right, roughly halfway through the season here. And uh, we're 24. Well, not we, because I'm not a part of the team and this is not my franchise. But 24, 11, and 7. We'll see where they are in the standings. Hopefully up there. First in the division, what we like to see. First in the league? Wow, fifth in the league. Holy crap, okay. Chicago, LA, Pittsburgh, and Columbus are doing well here. Uh, I would check the player stats, but I'm pretty sure that when I did that video of Ali Postinen and Jacob Ardown, that I they're they're just always in a franchise mode because I don't want to delete them, and they just happen to be in there. So, uh, oh, they're not. Usually they're like at the top of the points there, and they're actually not this time. But um, we don't even have anybody close. Kane has 68 points in 41 games. What is he doing? He is on steroids. Let's go and find Stamkos or Kessel. <clears throat> or not Kessel, Kucherov. Jesus, we are far down the list there. Stamkos, okay, 37 and 42 is not bad. But um, Charlie Coyle is there. Anyways, let's just continue to sim and uh, see. Like Kane, holy crap, he's on a tear. I'm interested to see how many points he finishes the year with. Ooh, finishing off the season. With four victories in a row, let's sim. Let's stop sim before the game. Perfect. We made the playoffs, of course. Not we. Why do I keep saying we? We're not. I'm not a part of the team here. Let's take a look at the record and see what uh, how many points Kane finished with. Stankos finished with 79, which isn't terrible. We finished first in the division, of course. 51, 23, and 8. That's a pretty sweet record. Second in the league. Oh my God, Penguins. 
Freaking 62 wins? Are you kidding me? Let's go and, uh, like, who? They must be top of the league in points. Kane, there's no way. Let's see here. Patrick Kane, 115 points. Wow, okay. Uh, Tarasenko and Keith needed one more point. Wow, Keith with 99 points? How often does a defenseman get that many points? Really, Crosby's up there. Sod, that is a different story. Brandon Sod had a not-so-good year, and he had uh, 93 points in this one, which is crazy. There we go, Ollie posting in. There he is. Uh, Stamkos won this with 79, so he's probably down. Yeah, right there. Anyways, let's go into the playoffs here and see how much of an impact Carlson can make. Well, before I do that, let me see what he finished the regular season with points-wise. Quickly. Eric Carlson, 66. So, third in the team. I mean, Stamkos and Kucherov are, like, points powerhouses. So, I mean... Obviously, Carlson will have to play really well in order to pass them, so that's still pretty good, I think. All right, so I'll skip the first three games. Hopefully, we win a couple. Yes, we do. We win another one. We lose. Okay. Um, since we can't, since they can't lose by simming these last two games, hopefully, we, come on, two one again. And oh my God, five nothing. They might go out in round one. This would be a fail. Come on, can we get a? Can, can they get a goal? There we go. One nothing here. 3-1, okay, let me just, uh, I feel like they it's in the bag as a victory here, so I'll skim real quick, but it's probably going to end 3-1, or like 4-1 or something, yeah, there we go, 4-2, three and a half minutes left, oh, okay, 5-2, I thought that was them scoring, I was like, holy shit, alright, end of the game, 5-2, big victory for Tampa there, I wonder who scored, but uh, no matter, we're going to go to the final game here, and hopefully they can win, Skip a period. It is 1-0. Make that 3-0. This series is in the bag for Tampa Bay, I think. But I don't want to inter I don't want to sim the period because sometimes it's just, well, it's out of reach at this point. But sometimes, I remember I did a sim. I think it was an NHL 12 or NHL 13 or some one of the older games. And I was up 5-0. And then I simmed the period thinking that we would win. And we lost 7-5. So I was just like, ever since then... Not sim in the period if it's a big victory or a big lead or any lead at all, really. 5-1, though, and that's the end of that. So, some pretty high-scoring uh, games in this series here. We got a 4-1, 3-1 win, 5-2, and 5-1 win as well. Uh, let me sim to the second, and uh, the next series should show up. Whoa, let me just... I think I might just stop the simulation. 7-2 loss! Come on! Okay, all right, we got a victory there. Let me just quickly do this. Holy crap, okay, so technically they can lose in two games. So let me just, is that another loss? It's another loss. Montreal are just unbelievably, ridiculously good, apparently. So let's just sim here, come on. 0-0, uh, zero, zero. One, 1 I'm not going to sim the period. We're, we're going to go through it slowly, but on the highest speed. And um, hopefully, no, 2-1, okay, so... Tampa Bay going out in the second round to... Oh, no, 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 no. Hold up. Okay. Back-to-back -back goals there. Holy crap. We're not done yet. Tampa Bay is not out of this yet. Two. One. 49 seconds left. Boom. There we go. Three, two. For Tampa Bay. Keeping al or staying alive for one more game here in this series. They got to win the next three here. Well, currently the next two. And uh, to try and win here. So, like, is it possible? It is 3-0 Montreal. It is 5-0 Montreal. It is 7-0 for Montreal. Holy crap. They're gonna win. They're gonna win the cup. They have to. They honestly got have to. 7-2 win. 7-0 loss. Like, oh my god. Anyways, we're gonna skim to the draft here. There's no way that they would be able to beat Tampa Bay. There we go. Montreal Canadiens are the winners of this year. Do you think that maybe I could do next season again? Because technically, Carlson is going to be playing on them next season, not this season. So, I don't know if I have to sign a bunch of guys or something. We'll take a look at it. If it's possible, I'll be able to do next season as well. All right, we're going to go for another season here. I was able to sign everybody. No changes were made at all. Uh, same team. <clears throat> we're just in another season. So, let's go through the preseason. Then we'll sim. I think I'm going to do, do a quick look at what our record is halfway, and then I'm going to go to the end. Losing two games in pre in similar, or, uh, preseason already here. Another loss. Is he not going to help them at all? Like, what's going on? We get two victories there. That's fine. One more game. It's against Florida. Certainly will win. 
Certainly, we do. Okay. Now, we'll go to, like, the 23rd of January or something. Sim to there, and then uh, see what the record is. I'll just look at the record. Then we'll go to the end, see if they can make playoffs. If they do, see how far they go. All right, we're about halfway through the season. 26-10-4. and four. I think it was 4. Stankos is a 94 with 44 points in 42 games. He's doing really well. Uh, I think we're first in the league. I wouldn't be surprised. Wow, we are not. Columbus doing well. Holy crap, 39-4. and four. Hopefully... By the end of the season, we could um, be doing a little bit better. Stamkos can still be point a game, and we'll see. All right, so end of the season, we're 54-19-9. Very good record. Let me just go into here. 96 points for Stamkos. Technically, this is the year. He actually missed the game, too. Technically, this is the year that Carlson should be on the team, so it makes sense that he would... Uh, that we would be doing better. But uh, 63 points, he'll, 70 games, I guess he got injured then, eh? Hmm. Hope he's not still injured. We got three. Kucherov should be franchise player. I don't know why he is not. But um, let's just go to the entire league. Stamkos led the league in points. That's crazy. What about Kucherov? He's probably farther down then. Eh? Well, didn't he have 82 points? I thought he had, or maybe it's 72. He have 72. Kucherov. How many points did he have? I don't even know any points he had. There's no way he had a little less than Josh Hosang and Trocek. Where did it even end up? Kucherov. Oh, he's third. Third. So we got Sarah first and third in the league players here in scoring. What about in the entire league? <clears throat> first in the division, of course, in the entire league. First in the league. This is the promising season. I mean, this should be the season where they win the cup. President's Trophy. I don't know. We'll have to see. Buffalo. If we start losing the first couple, then I'll stop the sim. Lost. Another loss. Win. Win. There we go. We're back up. 2-2. Two, two. Uh, I'll sim this one. Hopefully it's a win. It is a loss. My goodness. How? The sim doesn't make any sense. How are they going to go out in the first round after President's Trophy and, the t and two of the top three scorers in the league? 2-0. 2-1, okay, we'll sim it, but I don't really think it's going to happen. They're going to go out in the second, or the first round, which doesn't make any sense. But, I mean, whatever, yeah, 3-1. As if they just lost to Buffalo. I don't understand the sim. It's it's in, it's not really very realistic, I think. I'm just going to go to see who win the cup, and then I'm going to end the video there. Because it's been kind of long, and I just want to end it. But, um, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this one and you want to see more, let me know down below in the comments. Of course, if you guys want to see a particular team, I'll try. It. Like, if you guys want to see more, I will do every team. I have them all set up, so uh, we'll see. But if, you, uh, if there's a particular one you want to see next, let me know down below in the comments. If you did like the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you are new on here, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. We're just going to wait in the Stanley Cup team, see who it is. Hopefully, it's not Buffalo. But I have a feeling it might be because they took him out. They took out... Te yeah, there we go. How can one season... We lose to Montreal, they win the cup. We lose to Buffalo, they win the cup. If you just got by the Buffalo Sabres, it would have been a cup win. If you got by the Montreal Canadiens, it would have been a cup win. I don't understand.